Evening, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm John Overall. Now, the Center for Biological Diversity calls a federal judge's decision on the fate of the Rosemont mine a big victory for environmentalists, but the company behind the mine is promising to keep on fighting to keep its vision alive. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has our story. It's new at 10. A win for conservationists after a federal judge halts construction of the Rosemont mine in the Santa Rita Mountains, at least for now. Momentous victory for us uh, and for everybody in southern Arizona who cares about our water supply, about the beautiful wildlife living in the mountains around Tucson and the public lands that sustain us all. Randy Seraglia is a Southwest conservation advocate with the Center for Biological Diversity. He says Judge James Soto's ruling Wednesday night is a victory for endangered species like the jaguar. This is a victory for our kids and our grandkids who can grow up in a world where we still have jaguars roaming in the mountains around Tucson. We still have beautiful streams and creeks and springs that provide us with pristine groundwater and these scenic mountain vistas that give us clean air and are a big part of our economy. The debate over whether to build a mine here has stretched over a decade. The Canadian-based Hud Bay Minerals hope to start building at the start of this month. But the judge's decision in this latest lawsuit is a setback. In response to the ruling, HUD Bay's interim president and CEO says in a statement, quote, We are extremely disappointed with the court's decision. We strongly believe that the project conforms to federal laws and regulations that have been in place for decades. We will be appealing the decision as we evaluate next steps for the Rosemont project. Seraglio so says if construction were to ever begin, he believes it would destroy thousands of acres of public land in the heart of southern Arizona. These public lands belong to all Americans and just giving them away to a foreign company to, to increase their profits is just not the way that they should be managed. And the Center for Biological Diversity says the lawyers there are starting to work on the case at the next level. They say they will fully defend this decision at the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.